ByteDance just found a $7 billion loophole in America's tech war with China. TikTok's parent company ByteDance is planning to drop $7 billion on NVIDIA's powerful AI chips this year, the same chips that America specifically banned from being sold to Chinese companies. But here's where it gets spicy. ByteDance found a clever workaround. Instead of shipping the chips to China, they're storing them in data centers across Southeast Asia. Technically legal, but definitely raising eyebrows. Why do they want these chips so badly? ByteDance runs China's hottest AI chatbot, Dubao, with a massive 51 million active users. These chips? They're like steroids for AI systems. Here's the plot twist. ByteDance claims they haven't bought any of these specific chips since the US restrictions kicked in. So what's this $7 billion plan all about? The battle for OpenAI's soul just got intense. A nonprofit group is joining Elon Musk's fight to stop OpenAI from going full profit mode. Encode, backed by AI legend and Nobel Prize winner Jeffrey Hinton, is stepping into the ring. They're saying what everyone's thinking. Should a company that could create super intelligent AI be focused on making money? Remember, OpenAI started as a nonprofit in 2015 with a mission to make AI safe for humanity. But now, they want to flip the script and become a regular profit-making machine. Even Meta, yes, Facebook's parent company, is trying to stop this. The stakes? Massive. We're talking about who controls potentially world-changing technology. OpenAI's already losing top talent over fears they're choosing profits over safety. And get this, even their own former employees are worried the non-profit part will become just a side thing while the company chases those dollar signs. Is this the biggest power grab in tech history, or is OpenAI just trying to survive in the AI race? OpenAI just broke their biggest promise of 2024. Remember that tool they promised to protect creators? Yeah, it's nowhere to be found. Last May, OpenAI announced Media Manager, their magical solution to let creators opt out of AI training. But guess what? Former employees are spilling that no one was even working on it. It gets wilder. While OpenAI is ghosting their promise, they're facing massive lawsuits from Sarah Silverman, The New York Times, and countless artists who say their work was stolen. But here's the kicker. OpenAI's response? They're basically saying, we need to use copyrighted content or our AI won't work. Like what? And now the person in charge of this project? They've gone part-time. Talk about suspicious timing. Is OpenAI playing us all, or do they really need our content to make AI work? OpenAI's CEO just dropped a bombshell. They claim they know how to build AGI, but they're already moving on to something bigger. Super intelligence. Sam Altman says we're just thousands of days away from AI that's smarter than humans. And OpenAI's definition? Any AI that can make $100 billion in profit. But here's the scary part. OpenAI admits they have no idea how to control super intelligent AI if it goes rogue. And what are they doing? Disbanding their safety teams. While researchers are jumping ship over safety concerns, Altman's response is ice cold. Look at our track record. Meanwhile, they're restructuring to attract more investors. Think about it. A company racing towards super intelligence, ditching safety experts, and chasing profits. What could go wrong? Are we witnessing the birth of humanity's greatest achievement or its biggest threat? Elon Musk's AI promises just crashed. The billionaire's super AI Grok 3 is MIA, and he's not the only one missing deadlines. Remember when Musk flexed about training Grok 3 on 100,000 H100 GPUs? Called it something special? Well, it's 2025, and all we got is silence. But wait, it gets juicier. Anthropic ghosted their Claude 3.5 launch, Google's struggling, and OpenAI? They're hitting walls, too. These AI companies are discovering that throwing more computers and data at AI isn't working anymore. The magic formula is breaking. Even Musk admitted it. We may fail at this goal. Coming from tech's biggest hype man? That's huge. Is this the end of AI's explosive growth? Or are companies cooking up something we don't know about? Samsung just dropped a bomb at CES 2025. Your TV is about to become scary smart. Forget everything you know about TVs because Samsung Vision AI just turned your living room into a sci-fi movie. This isn't just another smart TV. It's practically alive. It watches your home while you're away, recognizes when your pet needs help, instantly tells you who that actor is, translates live TV in seven languages, and creates custom art just for you. 
But here's the insane part. It can detect if someone falls in your home and automatically dims lights when you fall asleep. Your TV just became your personal guardian angel. Plus, with Microsoft Copilot built in, this isn't just Samsung showing off. It's the future of AI homes becoming real. The world's hottest AI company is bleeding money. You won't believe this. OpenAI's $200 monthly chat GPT Pro subscription? It's actually losing them money. Even Sam Altman, the CEO himself, is shocked. Think about it. They're burning through $700,000 a day just to keep chat GPT running. That's like buying a luxury house every single day. But here's where it gets wild. OpenAI has raised $20 billion and they're still not profitable. Last year alone, $5 billion in losses on $3.7 billion revenue. Ouch. Now they're eyeing something massive, $100 billion in revenue by 2029. That's Nestle level money. But first, they might have to jack up those subscription prices. The AI race is expensive, folks, and we're all about to find out just how expensive. NVIDIA just broke the internet. They're putting a supercomputer on your desk. Meet Project Digits, the beast that's about to change AI forever. We're talking about a petaflop of computing power in something smaller than your gaming PC. This isn't just any computer. It's packing the legendary GB10 Grace Blackwell superchip. Want to run AI models with 200 billion parameters? No problem. Need more? Link two together for a mind-blowing 405 billion. We're talking 20-core Grace CPU, Blackwell GPU, 128 gigabyte memory, and a massive four terabyte of storage. This isn't just a computer, it's a monster. But here's the kicker. This beauty will cost you $3,000. Yeah, it's not cheap, but for what you're getting, it's like having a NASA supercomputer in your bedroom. Jensen Huang's dream? Put an AI supercomputer on every researcher's desk. The AI revolution isn't coming. It's here and it fits on your desk.